What's going on guys? This is Chef Khalib and welcome to Khalib's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cook the best red snapper. Hope you're tuning in. And don't forget, look down and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you share it too. So not only am I going to show you how to cook some dope red snapper, but I got a dope guest that's going to come and help us out. I got my boy Cypher Fix, one of the best MCs that you're going to find right here in Texas, Dallas that is, and he's going to come help me whip up some little recipes on this red snapper. Yeah. Yo. My boy, what's going down? Oh, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on here whipping it up. Hey, we about to do something great. I got you some gloves over there. Put these on, man. Yeah, you, man. Yo. We got some red snapper we about to do. Um, you know, it's about to go down, man. Yo, I'm known in the kitchen, man. I done got around oh. in a couple kitchens. Oh, yeah? <laughs> hey, that's what I hear in the streets, man. Yeah, man. I'm a chef. You feel me? Yes, sir. So, listen. While he's putting his gloves on, I'm going to show you a few things that I have um, that you're going to need to be able to make this recipe. So, I got some chopped onions here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the potatoes and I'm going to put the uh, Brussels sprouts also in the pan and I have a mixture it's a basil pesto with a little jerk mixture it's gonna make it really dope right here I got some seasonings um, that I've added all together uh, with a little chopped basil um, I have some uh, I have a buttery uh, salt I have a um, smoke uh, salt I also have um, some Cajun seasoning um, I have some what else I put in some garlic um, and that's what you're going to need, some of your basic needs. Really, you can be able to season it however you want to season it, however your taste is. I got some actual whole garlic, some peppers that we're going to cook on top of it. Then I got some lemons that we're going to actually um, this, this put at the bottom style. and put it in, in the back. So, this is all restaurants. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, listen, tell us a little bit about, before we just get into the cooking, about, um, you know, when I first met you, you were at the Freeman, mm -hmm. um, the Freeman, and uh, is it Deep Ellum, right? It's in Deep Ellum, man, Deep Ellum, you feel me? Uh, man, we started there. Of course, I've been doing music forever. Um, we started out Profit Bar, uh, House of Blues, Chess Out the Death of Radio, R.C. Williams. From there, we just kind of migrated. My brother Marcus Jones, which is the drummer for the uh, film, was like, yo, man, I got this band, man, come get down. I was like, I bet. And I mean, it's been going every since, nine years strong, you feel me? One of the hottest venues, live open mic jam sessions in the city. And uh, even through the pandemic, bro, we've been going hard, you know what I mean? Yeah, so if you're watching this video, make sure that you go check out In Deep Element. If you, even if you're not in Dallas, come check it out. We live tonight. Oh yeah, they live tonight. What's tonight? Thursday. Thursday night. Thursday nights, it go down. You feel me? Yes, sir. So let's get into this kitchen, let's get something cooking. All right, so what we're going to do, we first have the red snapper here. What I did um, was I began to uh, cut some of the uh, fins off of it. Um, I didn't cut all of it, um, but you can if you want to. Um, and so I made little slits on each side because what's going to happen is we're going to uh, marinate it and cover it um, with the basil. And once you cook it like that, it's going to be really dope. It's, it's going to be awesome. Fish. Yes, sir. It's a whole, it's a whole fish <laughs> first, bro. The head is not going. It's a whole. Yeah. So look, first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna get this to you, is we're gonna season, Ooh. and we're gonna make sure we put seasons in here, here on top of it. We're so gonna I'm make just sure rubbing we... it down. Yes, sir. I give it a good massage, like oh. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, get up in there. Gotta make it right. Make yeah. it right. Ooh. Make it. Right. Oh, oh, be messed up. I done got stuff, it's all right. Oh. Cause it's, it's still got the bones, some bones in it. Oh yeah, I can feel these bones. Yeah. I feel them. That'll <laughs> change my mind. You got, <laughs> well, you got bones all in it. That done made me step to the side a little bit, you know? To be gone and be extra cautious. Right. <laughs> all right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of this, we're gonna put it inside of there. All right. Yeah. I'm going to turn this over, alright, we're going to, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to 
go on ahead and uh that stove. Yeah. Best of your life. Now this pesto right here is mixed with um, some jerk, um, some basil. We just wanna make sure this fish is, uh, you know, see this gonna prevent us from uh, hitting them little balls. Man. That ball let me know, hey, don't rub <laughs> me like that. <laughs> It's a whole one. It's a whole fish, by the way. I just want to drop it. This. this ain't no uh, half a fish. This is not a tilapia, a salmon. This is a red snap <laughs> whole fish. So right. look, okay, so we gonna put that in there. We just um, got the uh, basil um, and the uh, jerk pesto sauce. Woo. Jerk pesto. And we're gonna make sure we cover the fish with it. Now we already seasoned it. We're gonna make sure we just get some more. Alright. We're gonna cover it just like this. Just like that. You see that? You see how smoky it is? We didn't even get bricked or nothing. Alright, you know, you gotta, you gotta love on the food, and man. I see, this fish is in love already. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta love on it, man. So we're gonna love on it a little bit. Now, what we're gonna do is I want you to take some of uh, that lemon. And I want you to stuff some of this lemon in there and get some uh, garlic and we're going to stuff some of that garlic right up in there. Some of the lemon, okay. Oh, how many I you know, Two, three? Just get four. four or five. Four or five. Matter of fact, we're we going to do this. Take that lemon right there, mm -hmm. the whole lemon. Oh, the whole lemon. And we're going to cut that one in half. Okay, boom. Lemon in half. Oh. All right. Boom. Now we're going to stuff that in here. I'm going to keep that one out. Okay, keep that one out. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, some garlic. We're going to stuff that garlic, put that garlic in there. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. So now what we're going to do is we gonna take this right here and we gonna just put that down like that. That um, easy. The, uh, there it is. That easy. Alright, put that right there. We're gonna take some lemon. Put that right there. Alright. We're gonna place that on top. It's like making a beat, like, like, like making a song with it. You gotta make sure you lay it out right. Right. We you gotta got be some, right. We got some thyme and some basil that we're gonna just stick in there. All right. Just give it some flavor. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to wash our hands and then we're gonna get ready to uh, do some uh, cutting with the uh, Brussels sprouts and the potatoes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some potatoes and we're gonna take some Brussels sprouts. Now remember, we're gonna cook this all in one pan so all the flavors, all the juices can just submerge with one another. Man, it's gonna be a dope meal. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start chopping these in half. We're just gonna chop it, oh, chop it just, like, just like that. So tell me, so tell me, uh, what what it really inspired you? Because man, I I really like I've heard you, you know. I don't even want to say rap, man. Like the way that you spit is like crazy. Like, and it's not when when I go to the Freeman Bar, you spit like off the dome. Like it ain't even no, you know, some of the stuff you you don't even write. It's just like straight. It's crazy. So like, what was your what would you say some of your like, um inspirations were when it came to you know the just the whole rap game you know, my biggest influence was jay-z mm -hmm. uh, uh, being able to think the, 
as fast as he was able to think of a beat that always inspired me. I always wanted to try that, and I played drums. Mm. So the rhythm to it was always easy. Why well, you cutting that? Uh-huh, I'm listening. And uh, I mean, from that point, it was just like, yo, you go into all these jam sessions and they playing really dope music and there's no MCs, there's no rappers. So it's like, yo, I want to, you know, jump on this and I want to spit, you know what I mean? I want to be the one to jump on the record and, you know, be the rapper or whatever, whatnot. So that's just kind of how it took place, how it transformed to transpire. And, right. I mean, it's been an inspiration. Nas, Wiz Khalifa, Lil Wayne, like, that was it. But for me, music was more like a, like a passion. Right. It was like when the beat come on, it spoke to me. It spoke mm. to my heart, my soul. So it was able to, you know, come with something different. Come with something that was real cool. Mm. So why, so why are you doing that? I'm a, I'm gonna take these out because I wanna, I wanna do what I wanna do is an extra uh, seasoning to them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, get some oil. Let me get some oil. <clears throat> I'm gonna put these in here. So, so that, that's dope, man. Like, um, man, Jay Z is, man, he, he's inspired, inspired a lot of people, you know, when it came to the whole rap game, man. Uh, you know, so what would you say is some of like your hardest transitions when it came to like just trying to come up? From from the bottom and you know, what did you say was some of the hardest times that you had? Oh man, I took it serious. Right, music. I had never wrote music before, so right, music um, was kind of like tough for me. People used to always tell me, you need to write music and you're gonna be a real artist. Yeah, right. And I, I ain't gonna say I didn't listen, but I kind of blew it off, like you know. So when it was time to be a real artist, mm. it was like, I. I should have been writing, but I mean, it wasn't hard. It was an easy transition, but the hardest part was just, you know, actually sitting down and doing it. Right. You know, realizing, yo, you can write music. So once I started doing that, it just, it just happened. I mean, we came out with some dope records. Uh, me and my brother Jeremiah Evans did I'm On The Way. Mm. And that was my first record I released last year, January uh, 2020. Mm. And from there, we just kept it rolling. And I did a record, you know, dedicated to women. I did a record dedicated to myself just for the grind I put in. So Yeah, that's crazy. I mean That's crazy. Been working, man. You know, being an artist, you got different reasons to be inspired and you for right. things that inspire you. So I mean being a deep Bellum, I was like, well if I'm gonna be the in deep Bellum, I wanna be the face of deep Bellum. I wanna be Man, the that's real. And, and that's what it was. And let me tell you, you've been you've been grinding for a minute, man, and being consistent with it like it's, it's not a time I go down deep. I don't care what time it was. You was on stage, like, killing it. Like, I don't care if you was tired. I don't care if you just got in two with somebody. You're going to bring the same energy yeah. every time. And, like, I respect that about you. Like, real talk. Like, and you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, everything that's coming to you now, man, like, can't nobody say you didn't work for it. Yo, man, you know what I'm work, saying? Hard work, dedication, a lot of no's, some yeses. Man. Um, friend losses, different stuff, man. A lot of people I started with I don't even talk to no more. So, I mean, for me, it's just staying focused. I mean, everybody don't go on that journey with you. Of course, you know that. That's you real. Know, I mean, you make those transitions. A lot of people that you was once close to, you don't become close to them. Well, that's just, you know, life creating that space for you to be great. Yeah. I mean, everybody can't be great with you. So, once I realized and accepted that, I mean, everything else just been falling into place. Man. man. That's good. So, so um, what I'm doing now is I'm mixing the onions, I'm mixing the potatoes, um, and I'm just getting a good season on them before I throw them back in the pan. Um, and we're just taking some of the same seasons that we put on here, and we're gonna put on um, the potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and onions, and just put a little lemon juice on there. All right, so now we're gonna throw that in the pan. It's in the pan, yeah. Oh, All right. I wish y'all could see this, but I got stuff on my hands, so you can't see it. <laughs> what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put that right there. Alright, and so now that we got everything done, everything cooking, this is gonna go in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. 
and then we're gonna see what happens after that. Hopefully, we'll have one of the best meals ever. All right. I know. Hopefully, do you see? Yes, sir. I wish the camera could be right here. <laughs> <laughs> let me show. Let me show y'all. This, this is beautiful. You ain't never seen. You ain't never seen a man snap like this. <laughs> That's so good. You gotta whisper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. So we're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna let you put it in the oven. In that little bottom oven right there. The bottom, John, right here at the bottom. Yes, sir. Just yes, sir. Yeah. Just drop that in there. 45 minutes. And we're gonna take 45 minutes and we're gonna see what, what it do. All right, so what's going down? Listen, the red snapper just got out the oven. And listen, we about to dig in and see how it tastes. All right? All right I don't even know how to feel right now. It's yeah. beautiful. Man, let me see how this tastes right here. All right, here we go. Here we go, we live. Y'all see this? We live right now, hold up. Listen, y'all, the vegetables, the seasoning, the wine, just can't get better than this, man. Subscribe to me, man. We about to get up out of here, y'all. about to finish this snap. We got to run it up, bro. No single out, man. Run it up. Yes, Go sir.